those who say the government is going to clamp on the freedom of the press, I think are just, you know, exaggerating the issue. Secondly, the report credited to the military that they'll be, you know, monitoring the social media. I think it's a routine thing that military, you know, the, the security, you know, they do all over the world, uh, monitoring, uh, you know, speeches, monitoring actions, uh, just to balance, you know, just to ensure that there's, you know, uh, no security threat. It does not mean that the military is going to arrest anybody or prosecute anybody because of what he has said, said on, the, on, 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 on the social media. But there are enough laws in Nigeria to prosecute anybody either for libel, for defamation of character or the like. But the issue about his speech is quite distinct. And I want, I want to make it clear here that you know, his speech is not the same thing as, you know, freedom of you know freedom of speech or free speech there's a distinction between hate speech and freedom of expression this particular you know phenomenon of hate speeches he is though it's covered on that terrorism you know act it still gives us a lot of concern so if the minister of interior says they are you know contemplating uh, you know fresh legislation it does not mean that we do not have enough laws but it means that the government is so concerned. If I look at, is there any uh, loophole uh, that can be exploited by those, you know, uh, you know, uh, purveyors of his speech today that is not covered in existing laws? For instance, I've had the opinions of many lawyers saying that there's nothing like, you know, his speech. There's no law against his speech. So I think that the government is probably considering and say, look, is there really something that has been exploited, you know, by? the purpose of his speech and fake news. That is not, that it, we need a new legislation for. But one thing that is clear, this is not meant to stifle the press. Rather, the government is concerned that people who are bent on inciting one part of the country against the other, for whatever reasons, is the clearest danger to our unity.